Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, whether you live in a city in the coastal part of the United States or in the middle of the country, we have a crisis of civics in the United States. A lot of people are worried about democracy. We focus on the obvious problems that we're seeing, the breakdown uh, in, in governance and, and civility, but it's time to focus on the solution. The Educating for American Democracy initiative has given us a roadmap through that crisis. It is so exciting. You got 300 scholars from across the political spectrum who've gotten together to give us a tool and a roadmap to connect people to our history. We did consistently seek out student feedback. We also had a big community of educators who are working in the classroom with students every day. A lot of direct expression of what counts as relevant for students now. How can we formulate questions in language that engages students and young people? We wove into the study to this roadmap the idea of debate and disagreement. This is what Americans do. The Educating for American Democracy project promotes the same kind of integrated, inquiry-driven approach. It emphasizes a deep engagement with primary sources, with texts and historical artifacts. This, in turn, allows students to research a topic and develop their knowledge, and maybe even start to identify solutions. We think young people, K-12, can learn these civic virtues, as well as important historical, constitutional, political knowledge. The solution in a democracy is always with educating the people. The great thing about the roadmap is it's not a national standards document and it's not a curriculum document. It's ultimately a set of principles and it will be up to not only the states but the districts and the schools to implement this. In my classroom, I see young people who are eager to learn about the story of the United States and their ability to make a difference in it. We need to teach in a way that will inspire them to participate in civic life and work with others to affect positive change. I can tell you firsthand that there has never been a more critical time for students to have a teacher that's armed with a framework and a roadmap like the Educating for American Democracy framework because we see exactly what it looks like whenever a society feels disenfranchised and they're unsure about how to responsibly and effectively contribute to their democracy. It's not about picking which part of the American story is the story that we ought to indoctrinate our future generations with. It's about identifying the questions that need to be asked so that our future generations understand how to be Americans. The original motto of the United States is e pluribus unum. Out of many. Out of many. Out of many. What? Yeah. We need many people to participate at this challenging time in building a new foundation for excellence in civic and history education. We invite you to join in.